first of all, we could change the industry overnight. And we know that, and, but we're not doing that. So that speaks volumes. Oftentimes when people of color, women, other, are hired, and they're hired at the low levels, um, you know, that's sort of like an easy rate to, of entry to let them in. But what I find is that's the only value they're seen as, is to let them in the room and add, add color, add flavor, but not really seen as this really great writer and producer. Because if you did, you would naturally move them up. As a showrunner, you are constantly looking for great help, great writers, people who can get in there and get the job done. So by not moving them up, and, and also by not always being in those rooms, I can tell you what's going on. I really believe that a lot of these writers who are let in at the low levels and then fall out of the business or fall out of those shows are being used for their ideas. They're being used for the cultural flavor that these white males are not, they're not in those neighborhoods, they're not in those situations, they're not, they don't know what it's like to be that. So tell me what it's like and then I'll write it. I'll produce it. You just keep telling me what it is. Oh, I've used up all your ideas next. It is a think tank, and it, it is a, a place for ideas to brew, but you have to also see value in that person and develop that person and move them up. Now, some people are not a match, so you don't bring them back, but when you start to see the same patterns over and over and over again, there's the story, what's the story? What's the story is I think a lot of people are being let in and their ideas are being used or they, were, or they can say, hey, I had someone in my room and they thought it was cool. <laughs> you know, whatever those, those things are, they're not oftentimes being valued. <laughs>